even though these guys are really really interesting, our tarantulas need to eat. Here in my hand I have one species of hissing roach, even though I'm not sure what is the scientific name of this species, I will write it down in the video once I figure it out, but I know one thing, they are juicy and we have a bunch of them in here. A friend of mine gave it to me, shout out to Luca, thanks for this man. And also shout out to Lucia, that is his girlfriend. They are together keeping these little guys. They started off with a small colony and now they are running into a problem with having too much of them. So he asked me if I would like to have some, to feed some tarantulas, to keep some, to do whatever I'm pleased. And I thought that I could make a nice different feeding video with them. Since they are really big I assume we will hear a lot of nice crunches. I will try to feed the biggest tarantulas that I have. And the good thing regarding this species, their shell isn't as hard as Madagascar hissing roach. So that... Oh, stop falling down. So that means that these are much safer for tarantulas to eat. But they are really cute, I must say. I like the stripes. <laughs> Let's start with the feeding before I bond too much and change my mind. I will turn this camera like this. And I will also use this camera. And you see, I rearranged some enclosures and now it is much prettier, right? Now we have these big enclosures with terrestrial species. Here is the freshly rehoused Brachypelma vagans and Sashenka. She's down there and I think it looks really nice. I opened Linda's enclosure hoping that she will come out in the meantime, but nope. And look what she did to her enclosure, I mean to this plant, this poor plant. She basically destroyed it and it was growing so, so well. Damn you, Linda. That was not cool. We can actually start with her. And I need to be careful because these roaches, they climb really well and they can easily climb this plastic. So that means that they can escape easily if I don't supervise them. I need a small one because Linda is really, really fat. Someone is mad. Who is mad? This guy. <laughs> or this one. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's really mad. This is the smallest as I, oh no, this is the next candidate, slightly bigger. Now let's see where's Linda. Whoa, what was that? She only attacked it. Yeah, so maybe, whoa, and she turned, her butt is there. What is this? Linda, what are you doing? Are you planning to poop or what? Roach is heading your way. Oh no. What is happening? It really looks like she's about to poop. <laughs> I have no idea. But you see her abdomen is huge. So I assume that she's in a pre mode. I don't know. And this little guy is now trying to escape. You see how easily they climb. Now we will put you here. And where are you going? Shoo! Shoo! Let's see if he will. Oh yes, he wants it definitely. Spiny assassin guy. Really hungry. The roach is trying to escape, but not enough power to overcome the spiny guy. No way. No way, Jose. Maybe I can put one big one here so these both can take it down. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. Don't, don't do that, don't do that. This is not so fun when they are making noises. Oh, whoa, whoa. Holy crap. But you see, assassin bugs are really strong and it looks like the venom is starting to kick in. Now the second one is coming. Oh my. No, 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 don't go outside, no. Uh, saved it. Saved it barely. Now the third one is coming. Oh my god. Let go my... T Whoa. What is this? Third one. And fourth. Four assassin bugs on one... On one hissing roach. This one gave up, actually. This is crazy to witness. So crazy. Yeah, now he is coming in also. Holy moly, maybe I should take... Oh, <laughs> these two are starting to fight now. Calm down, there is enough for everyone. <laughs> what a fight. The roach gave up here. Yeah, probably too much venom. 
I will take another one. Got him. Whoa! Oh my, the struggle. The struggle is real. Can't see a thing, but... Yeah, there's a fight going on. Okay, I think that was enough of spiny assassin bugs. This is kind of disturbing. Let's continue with big tarantulas now. And the first on the line will be this Acanthoscura geniculata. Big, big female. Where's the next candidate? You. Just put him here. Whoa. Crunches. The crunches. But not a lot of crunching. I was expecting more. That roach looks tiny now compared to her. Ooh. He pooped. He pooped some more. But yeah, roach looks tiny now compared to her. She's getting huge. Too bad that she's not facing us so we can see better. We can see that fang action better. So let's move to new tarantula now. And I will actually leave the enclosure open so I can record the happy dance if, if she starts to do that. Now let's feed Annie. Since she's outside and she's no longer outside. <laughs> but her booty is so hilarious. Look, those spinnerets, how they go flat with the with all the hairs. <laughs> There's something so comedical about this. I don't know what, but it surely is. Next contestant, please don't don't hiss too much. Ugh. Really not a fan of this. Any? Do you want some? Ooh, yeah. Any wants some definitely. And I heard the crunches. The crunches are real. Oh, have you seen that? You can hear the fang action. Oh, the... The geniculata is crunching also. And standing high like some sort of jeep. <laughs> Who is the next one? Here we have Gramostola pulchripes, but as you see, she closed off her burrow and she refused to eat in the last few months, so I assume Pre-mold, she will mold soon. Maybe we can try with wagons. Yeah, let's do that. First feeding in this new enclosure. Sorry, man. Sorry. Whoa. 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 Holy crap. I'm not sure if she bit him or not. It is kind of in weird position, just like that. Gramasola i Heringi. Or? Oh yeah, now she got it. Poor Roach, this sounds... They actually make it a bit sadder, I don't know. I'm not really a super fan of this, I must admit. Roach is struggling so hard. But these shots are so sweet, so sweet, despite the agony that is happening in, the, in them. Ugh. Let's continue with Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, let's see if she will be fussy about these. She's not a big fan of dubias, she usually refuses them, so I'm wondering if she will take these. Only one way to find out, right? Okay, let's see now. Ooh, no! You see, her reactions are so weird. She does the same thing with dubias. She only takes lateralis and crickets. And dubias are like, uh, meh. Do you want to cohabit now with this roach? Huh? Do ya? Because I will do that if you continue to be so fussy. Mm, now I need to take the roach from there, but first let's open the next enclosure. Sashenka probably won't eat, but let's try it anyway. And he is actually trying to go inside of the inside of her hide, but she cannot fit or something. I don't know. Let's grab the roach. Oop. Let's see. What oh no, just strikes. Nope. Only strikes. Okay, 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 I understand. You are not in the mood, huh? 
I hope you won't give a hard time to Sasha. Please, he's my first tarantula, you need to be kind to him. That sexy time will soon follow, don't worry. Hey, 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 don't go out. What are you doing? Stop right there. I thought that she will try to go out. Better close her enclosure. We can also try it with Brahipelma Behmei, but I think that she will also refuse it. Please go down. <laughs> nah, I won't try it. You see how fat she is. I don't know what is up. If she will make an exec or if she will molt, but please do something quick because Paul is here and he's still alive. So in case you molt, he will be ready for round two. But yeah, I won't. I won't feed her. So that means that we tried her. She's buried. We did this. I can actually try and put one or two inside of this enclosure. This is the Monocentropus Balfouria communal. And it looks really impressive, right? I will just put one and we will see what will happen. Okay, okay. Chill. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this is not a good thing. Well, there is plenty of them inside, so I'm sure they can handle it. And his abdomen is also huge. Oh my god. And it will be even bigger after she eats the, the meal. What is happening here with Bagans? The roach is still not giving up although it is no longer hissing. And I will close her and this. These are the mantids and I'm really, really pissed. If you're following me on the Instagram, you know that I have two females. Here is one and here is the second and one male. At least I had one male because you see the wings down there? They both ate him at the same time. I hope that at least there was some mating going on, so that's the reason why, but... Uh, I'm so angry, they are supposed to be communal, I don't know. Maybe I got things mixed up, maybe males cannot be kept together with females. Check out the Heterometrus Scorpion. I first need to open this. She's down there, locked and loaded. Let's give her a roach. One roachy roach for one Scorpion. Ooh, she grabbed it. Yeah, come, come a bit outside. Ooh, sweet shot. Whoa, we saw the stinger. Oh my god, this was so good. And look how effortlessly she's holding that one, one roach with just one pincer. They are so strong, you see? Yeah, I just dragged it inside. Oh, crazy. Sweet shot. There is now five of them in total on this one roach. You see one, two, three, four, and behind you see there's just the abdomen. Five. Spiny guys, more like crazy guys. Should we try to feed the Caribena versicolor? I'm not sure if she is in the mood. Maybe I should try to lure her first to see her reaction. There you can spot one leg. Let's just check first. Oh, she is turning, okay. She might be hungry. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, she is hungry. Definitely hungry. God, it's real good. She refused to eat a few times, so I assume maybe she will mold, but it seems that she just wasn't hungry then. And now is. Look at this enclosure. It looks so nice. But it is hilarious how she made her web tunnel behind the cork bark. Not in the actual cork bark where I initially planned to. And you see this bromelia that is still strong and growing without any problem. But I do regularly remove the webbing from it just so it can grow easily. Well, sweet! This was unexpected. I like. Now let's check out some Pezzoterias. Some pokies if they are hungry. And the first candidate is right there. This Pezzoteria. Ugh. Pizzoteria rufilata. Also not using cork bark, but she's hiding behind the cork bark. So rude and so disrespectful. But still, you need to feed them. Let's see. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. She grabbed that so hard. Whoa. Such crazy reactions. And sorry about the yellow light. It used to be white. I don't know what happened. I really don't know. Now all of the others, no one is outside. Maybe we can try it with Regalis. Her last meal was, you know who, the Pezzoteria Regalis male. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not sure if this will work. I don't even know where the tarantula is. It seems... Oh, no. 
I think I hear the crunches. Let me just grab the enclosure outside and check it out from top. Yep, please focus. Oh, maybe I can just use the cell phone. You see, she got the roach. Even though we didn't saw it, it happened. And maybe we can try to lure Elvira outside. You know, Pezzoteria Ornata, I can see her legs. Or actually, no, I cannot see them no longer, unfortunately. She probably went deep down. Never mind then, scratch that. Maybe Hanuma Villa Sumika? Her legs are here. Maybe she will be interested. Just slowly open. Yeah, she's still there. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> she just, she just snitched it. At least you should show yourself. That was so rude. Look, legs over there. Maybe from behind. No, I cannot even spot it from here. The road just disappeared. I'm sorry. I c <laughs> there wasn't anything I can do. Here inside is species lowland. I don't know. I will also try it, but same thing might happen. Oh, uh -huh. legs. Curious legs. Come on, grab it. What are you waiting for? Do I really need to release it? Oh, not cool. I didn't grab it. Oh no, you fool, what have you done? Now I lost the roach. Great, now I'll need to dig under it and try to retrieve the roach. Oh, after the video. Rufilata is still outside. Look at how beautiful she is in this ugly yellow light. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry about the light. So, I don't know, I think that that I will end the video here, let's just go back to the table. I really don't know how to feel about this, because even though they are roaches just like dubias, because of the sound they make, it is kind of a bit more uncomfortable to feed with them. I don't know, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments if I'm not alone with this thought, I don't know. Anyhow, I still hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, uh, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon twice or uh, Monday, Friday. See you then. Bye! -bye.